thank goodness. I'm really scared. <gasps> I'm driving alone for the very first time today. <sighs> okay, so I'm in the car. I'm Kate, by the way. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. As if you are old, then you saw my old vlog in like May where I got my driving license, driver's license, and I passed on the first try. But that was in May, and today is September 1st, and this is gonna be my first time driving because my parents just never let me drive until now because they didn't trust me, but I just finished church and they have to stay because they have an adult Sunday school, but I'm done. So I usually ask other people to take me home and that's just kind of like not that good, you know? So my mom decided that she's gonna let me drive today alone. And I don't know how I feel about this because I'm not used to being alone in the car either. It's just like, it's kind of quiet. Ew, I hate that you can like, ooh, my hands look humongous. Okay, whatever. So let's go. So I take this route a lot, which is probably why they're letting me drive because literally like I can't really mess up. Thank you. <laughs> That's my friend's dad. Frank's dad actually and he um it's like called we always have people to like help do like the traffic around the parking lot. Not the traffic, but you know what I mean, to like guide people out safely. Oh my goodness, this is so weird, driving alone. I kind of like it though, it's like my little safe space. I really want Starbucks right now because I've just been craving their green tea matcha latte, iced obviously. Speaking of tea, I was sent some tea from Teamy. So I got the original matcha as well as chocolate favorite matcha and they also gave me this little sample of detox teas to try right now i have been super tired because i'm always busy with youtube school college apps and i am stressed out and i sleep late so i have been drinking matcha every day now and i was really stoked when they sent me this so i could try it i love this cocoa flavor it tastes so good and it really does give me that boost of energy i need to start my day so i'm going to show you guys how i make it First, I get my mug, and then I put one to three teaspoons of the matcha into the cup. It smells so good already. So now I'm gonna add some almond milk. You can add whatever milk that you want, but I prefer almond milk. And then I take my milk frother and give it a whirl. And since there's no sugar added in here, I like to add some vanilla syrup when I'm feeling like it, but I also like that I can just make it unsweetened if I feel that too. They also have this great tumbler that you can put it in. You just like store stuff at the bottom and then it's double layered so you can keep your tea in here and then there's like a mesh lining. But personally, if I'm just at home, I'll drink it from here, but if I'm on the go, I will put it in here. I've been loving making my own teeny matcha lattes because going out and buying them is a very expensive habit and we're always trying to save money and you can also control how much sugar you put in it and like milk and stuff so I personally like it better. If you guys want to check out Teamy and get yourself some matcha or detox tea or whatever you're feeling, make sure you go to my link right here at teamyblends.com and you can use my code KATELY20 for a special discount. I'm such a YouTuber now because like I'm really like driving guys. I just feel like doing a drive with me is so iconic as a YouTuber so it's kind of cool. I feel like this might be a short video because I I don't really know like guys what do I even do in my drive with me? I'm kind of boring. I wish I could play music but everything's copyrighted. You know what I'm just gonna do like a copyrighted thing soon because like I don't even care if you guys want to see more of my playlist then why not follow me on Spotify at Kate Lee I'll link it below dun, 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 dun. oh yeah we love a left turn arrow I don't know if you guys can even hear me so if I sound like I'm yelling it's because I am so that you can hear me oh, it's so silent I'm really not used to this it's not necessarily bad but it's definitely gonna take some getting used to Hopefully they'll let me drive somewhere else soon, like, I don't know, the mall 
or to like my friend's house because this year I'm trying to make it a thing where I go to my friend's houses because there are so many friends whose houses I've never been to and we're about to graduate like I'm a senior and I feel like the chances of me ever going to their house is like so slim after that and I know it kind of sounds weird like I want to go to their house but I just mean it more in a way where like I don't know like bonding at their house I just feel like it's normal to, for most people to do that I guess but I just haven't done that because I don't really get out that much so hopefully since college apps is almost over ish then I can start hanging out with my friends more because it's definitely like something that I've been thinking about a lot recently I haven't really been connecting with my school friends that much and then I complain about having no friends but really I don't make time for them so it's kind of my fault but at the same time it's just really hard because they'll invite me to hang out but I can't because I have to be on this YouTube grind and like jewelry and stuff so I'm just trying to like distance I don't know separate time and stuff because I'm only gonna be in high school and honestly like making money isn't shouldn't be that important to me right now and I deserve time to just be a regular kid you know but last week Friday so today's Sunday and two days ago was Friday so I stayed after school that day for like the very first time this whole school year and honestly I barely even stayed after school last school year either but it was so cool because Okay, oops, I thought I was in the wrong lane. I almost exited. Okay, so anyways, I stayed after school for the first time and it was so nice because I could like connect with my peers and I actually had really good combos with like this boy that, I don't know, the last time I talked to him was literally like February and then I talked to him again and we had good conversation at our meeting and whatever and I don't know, I just feel like maybe I'm missing out on like so many other people because if our my conversation with him was so good, then like maybe with other people that I don't usually talk to, it would be that good as well. But I just don't like give myself those opportunities. I always come to school right when my class is gonna start and then I leave right after. But that's not how I'm gonna make social interactions. And I'm literally not even trying, so I can't even complain. So, I'm going to start trying to be more social and like hang out with my friends because at school I have like this one friend group, we call ourselves MIFAM I guess, M-E-F-A-M, and then the girls are like my girls, M-E-G-I-R-L-S, my TikTok blew up with making shirts that said my girls on it actually, which is weird, that's like the only TikTok that's ever blew up because I really don't try and I feel like I have weird humor that's not relatable so it just doesn't really work out. <laughs> so dangerous that light freaking broke so it's just like an intersect four-way intersection now and with no stop signs that's a problem but okay good thing i made it through there <laughs> relatively easily okay so i'm gonna go to starbucks because it's only 10 50 so why not i'm craving it oh my goodness wait am i blind i'm not though Oh my goodness, I'm really scared. Why are all the stop lights not working? What the? That's whack. The traffic lights are- oh, The traffic lights down there are down too? Oh my goodness, this is insanely dangerous. All the traffic lights are broken. On another note, there's a lot of parking today. That was good, I parked really well, I'm really happy. Guys, it's closed. Well, that was 100% a failure. Starbucks is freaking closed because it turns out there's a power outage, so that's why all the lights are down. Okay, so I'm coming up to the intersection where the lights are down and I have to make a left turn and it's four ways, so I'm gonna see what happens. Oh, the person right here up ahead of me is also going, so I'm just gonna tailgate him because I'm scared to just like make the move be a feel. So 
I learned that if you're at a red light that doesn't work, then you're supposed to treat it as a four-way intersection, and you're not supposed to tailgate the person in front of you. But now I know. And please, I hope you learn from that too, because I don't want you to get beeped at or almost crashed, because that truck almost hit me, and I almost hit him, so. And we made it! I think that's it for this. I don't really know what else to say, so thanks for joining me on my little journey today, and hopefully I'll be doing some like car stuff soon, car vlogs. And by the way, this is not my car. I'm driving my mom's car, because I just don't think it's a good idea for me to get a car, because I am a senior, so I'm going to be leaving literally like next year around this time or maybe even earlier and you have to pay a lot for like car insurance and stuff like that every month even if I'm not going to be driving it because cars depreciate so fast so I just feel like it's not a smart um, choice to be getting a car plus but usually I can just use my mom's car or she just drives me because she's nice like that so subscribe for more content bye I love you see ya